What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com and today we're just going to recap all the June 2016 Air Jordan release dates. Now I want to apologize, I'm still uh, a little bit congested but as you can probably tell I'm getting over it and uh, getting this out a little bit later. As you guys already know, some releases already took place but there's more to come for June. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a link in the description below pointing you to this page as well as our Air Jordan release dates page. And uh, if any time a release date is pushed forward or around, this section will be updated. And our Air Jordan release date section ha uh, has dates from now till uh, early 2017. So without wasting too much of your time, let's get into it. All this writing stuff. So the Neymar collaboration, they already released, so we're not really going to talk about that. Or the ones that have released, like the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Metallic Navy. And then the Cherry 11 Lows, those are already available. And then the Midnight Navy 11 Low as well. Now, for the rest of the month, there's still some. There's not a ton, but uh, Jordan Brand is known to push things around or even add. So, like mentioned, this section will be updated. There's a new release date or a new model that just all of a sudden, you know, popped up. So, all right. So, we have the Air Jordan 9 Low. This is the Pantone colorway. Um... As you guys already know, it was a, as the whole there was a whole the whole Air Jordan line was done in this shade of blue, and it was for display purposes. Whereas some people got the samples, they got their hands on them, so and they're going for quite a bit now. The low did not was not uh, on display, so Jordan Brand decided to release this as a low top that will take place on June 11, 2016. Retail will be 170. This pair, I in my opinion, will be easy to get. Although the shade of blue is nice, and I'm a fan of it, um, not a lot of people like lows, including myself. It's just this color on the lows brings me to like it, to be honest with you. If there were a mid, definitely would have picked these up. Um, but as you guys already know, we did a video on that showing you some details and whatnot. But uh, it's a clean shoe. I, you know, hit or miss for some, but it's clean. So we have the Air Jordan 2 Low. These are being called Midnight Navy, also UNC. Uh, I So this the two lows I do like if they're OG colorways. So this pair I do not like, but uh, they're going to drop June 11, 2016. Retail is 160 This will be an easy pickup for sure. This uh, no, this is not going to sell out by any, any means whatsoever. Um, it's also kind of like I believe Jordan Brand is doing like a collegiate a collegiate type pack so they have this and then they're calling these university blue but uh we all know the deal with that so those will be easy pickup for sure if you're interested in them all right so we have the air jordan 10 charlotte this is again a part of the city pack these are dropping june 18 2016 retail will be 190 um again most of the city pack has been kind of easy to get as far as in store but as um, online, it seems like some of them hit or miss. They sell out. So this pair is actually clean from the images. I have yet to see it in hand. I should be getting them uh, this week, but uh, and which I'll show you, you guys a closer look at them. I like the color mashup. It's pretty clean, but I heard that this white is more of a cream shade. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, so I'm going to wait until I have them in hand. So... And give you guys a closer look, and I know you guys will appreciate that. Now, this is another pair from the City Collection. This is the Air Jordan 10 London. Uh, they're dropping the same day, June 18, 2016. Retail is 190. I now now it's not confirmed, but I have heard this is a Europe exclusive, uh, which would kind of make sense because they which pair was it? Uh, the not the Rio before that. Gosh, the Paris, Paris. There we go. That was a Europe exclusive also, but a lot of pairs made their way to the States. So um, general release, but just it'll just be a regional release. That's what I'm hearing. It's not confirmed yet, but we will update you, letting you know on sneakerfiles.com what the deal is with that. I cut like honestly, it's a really plain shoe. And I when the images first surfaced, I thought it was just like a filter on it. I couldn't believe that they were gonna release something like this. But I don't know, to each his own, I guess. If you like them, that's all good. So on the 18th, we also have another GS exclusive Air Jordan 12. This is known as Hyperviolet. 12s always sell out. 
it is what it is uh, with them. Everyone likes them. Uh, it says June 4th. I forgot to update it. It's actually the 18th. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's a bit later in the month. Retail will be 140 <clears throat> Features new buck uppers. You got your metallic gold on the eyelids. It's, it's clean shoe. I like the color blocking. I don't know if you guys have seen. There's a Hyper Jade also coming. That will drop next month, early next month, but it'll probably get pushed back. But I like that pair a lot better. It's just too bad that that's also GS exclusive. So we also got for the men on June 25th is the Wolf Gray Air Jordan 12. This pair looks decent. Like at first I was like, eh, it's so-so, you know, but it grew on me as images, more images, you know, leaked and whatnot. So um, I'm pretty eager to get this in hand and check it out. And uh, so I should have that in a little while, not probably a week or so. And um, since it's a 12, it's a little bit weird because on this 12, I assume they're going to sell out because they're a 12, but I haven't seen a lot of hype uh, around them, so I can't really confirm. But it is a 12, so in all likelihood, this will be <clears throat> somewhat of a difficult difficult cop, I'm, I'm going to guess. All right, so the last pe two pairs for the month. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have the Air Jordan Ch Champagne, Air Jordan 8 Champagne. We also have the Confetti. Now, as you guys know from previous, part of the championship pack, both of them, but from pre previous packs, this was known as the Cigar. Jordan Brand's changing that for unknown reasons. I'm going to guess it's because of smoking and whatnot and kind of against it. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me, both pairs will be hard to get, I'm, especially the Champagne. Everyone loves the Champagne. Me, personally, I'm kind of leaning towards Confetti. I like a little bit more. That's just me. But um, it's pretty cool because this is inspired by the um, the NBA trophy. So it's all white and it has that gold uh, around kind of through the mud guard area. As you as you can see, I'm kind of fiddling with the mouse. It comes with a little pack of confetti. Like they're actually going a little above and beyond. And from the images, it appears that each pair will have the Jordan Eight retro card. Again, that's kind of cool to me. And uh, a unique box too. They're doing a whole new box for each of them. So the champagne also have uh, Michael Jordan's fingerprint. It's probably not his exact fingerprint because you don't want to replicate that. But uh, so this, that's the champagne, the cigar, or not cigar. See, I, even I'm used to calling them cigar. The confetti will have uh, the confetti type style print through the mud guard, as well as the liner in the inside of the tongue. Black tumble leather upper also comes with the special box retro card and a little thing of confetti. Uh, they're both, I'm not sure if I... I said it, so I'm going to repeat it. Both are dropping June 25th, 2016. Retail price will be $250. they are not sold as a pack, but separately. Um, definitely going to be on the harder side to get. I'm going to guess the Champagne, though, will be harder to get of the two. But both are solid releases. Like, yeah, they're going to be uh, pretty hard to get. They're both solid. They're both clean. Just hope the material, the material and the construction match it, matches up to what we've seen from images and because, <coughs> excuse me, because from images it looks very, very clean. But sometimes that doesn't always happen when you get them in hand. All right, everybody. So that's your recap of your June 2016 Air Jordan release dates. So once again, I want to apologize for kind of coughing and sounding congested. It's not a good look, I know, but the kind of wanted to get this video out sooner rather than later. And that, that brings me to the Air Jordan, the real versus fake Air Jordan 12 flu game video. I want to be completely over the cold because that video is going to be a lot longer than this. So I don't want to continue coughing and everything because the last one we did for the, the French Blue, that did really, really, really well in a short amount of time. It got over, I think, close to 65,000 views in about a month, which is kind of a lot from comparing to the views that typically these videos receive so and we also want to continue doing more real versus fake comparisons we're working on a deal now to um hopefully you know get these fake shoes coming in as weird as that sounds i've never in my life had to work so hard to get fake shoes it's really crazy because i personally i don't want to buy them because i feel like you know I just, I don't, if I have to, I will, but I'd rather not buy them. Let's just put it like that. 
So if I could work out a deal where I'm getting the shoes and I'm, you know, informing everybody the differences and they're happy, we're happy, then that then that's great. That's fantastic. But getting back to the this video at hand, um, so as you guys already know, Jordan Brand has been also pushing things forward and back and doing all that kind of stuff, which has been throwing like some confusion out there if that happens there's a link to this page in the description like mentioned and uh it'll point you here and if if a release gets pushed forward or backwards we'll update this section so you know you're good to go on that and then there'll be a link to the air jordan release date section as well which is just your overall releases from this point forward till early 2017 now um this month has been a, it's a little bit shorter on releases compared to like the last few months but uh, some solid stuff coming out. Like the Air Jordan 8, to me, is a definite cop. Uh, the 12, well, the GS version, I probably won't get just because I can't fit it. So why buy it? Um, the both 11s, which already, you know, is passed now. Those were nice. Those are dope. Uh, we have that. We had the Air Jordan 1 Retro High. That was nice as well. And then the Wolf Gray 12s. You know, to me, it's like... So far, I'm 50-50. I'm on the fence because it's hard to tell. Like some of the vid some of the not videos, the images make the uppers look like they're kind of a, either a suede or new buck, but it has a tumbled look to it. So it could be leather. I'm not too sh sure about that, but uh, you know, getting them in hand is the best way, and you know, can help you guys inform everybody what material it is and how the quality is and whatnot, like stuff like that, you know. But uh, leave a comment below. Let us know what pairs you're planning on picking up or going after. And, uh, you know, um, if there's anything else you guys would like to see Sneaker Files feature, let us know. We still want to do, like, the Sneakerhead Spotlight, what we were doing. And it was basically featuring your guys' collection on the channel. But uh, it's been it's been a lot harder. A lot of people are willing to do it, but then they don't actually shoot the video. So it's kind of like... I don't want to put anyone down and say it's more talk, but that's what it's been seeming like. So either that, but you know, I understand too that got everyone has their own life and got things going on. So posting a video or shooting a video might not be a number one priority for you. So totally understand that. But like mentioned, let us know, leave a comment below what pairs you're going after this month. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.